Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for a man who needs no introduction. Stand the man, Mr. Marvel Lee. Standing up, standing up, remember this. It was quite a few years ago. Um, they were doing the grand opening of Marvel Media. They had set up a, a line from the top of the Hilton. They had a stunt fight with Spider-Man and the Green Goblin on the top of the roof. Then Spider-Man got on the zip line and went zzzz all the way down to the top of Marvel Media as the big opening. And there's a huge crowd of us standing there. And the press is there and the cameras and lights are going off. And I look over and Stan is standing right next to me. And I go, Stan Lee. I go, what do you think? He goes, pretty good. <laughs> Stan, it's great to see you. Let's hear it for Stan Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Anything new in the Marvel Universe you can talk about? Well, just um, my cameo in the uh, Thor movie. <laughs> you see, they, they have to give me those cameos because otherwise, who's going to go to the movie? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I wanted to play open. You know, the king of the gods. But is this guy, what's his name? Anthony Hopkins something? <laughs> yeah, he was actually a great actor. So I didn't get to be old. And uh, on the Captain America movie, I haven't done my cameo yet because they're filming that in England. And you know, I, I don't have time to go to England because I have more important things to do, like coming here to the expo. <laughs> I understand you've got a, a new project with the National Hockey League. Oh yeah. NHL, uh, where it's going to be a superhero kind of hockey crossover. You wouldn't think to look at me, but I'm one of the great hockey players of all time. <laughs> and um, my company, POW Entertainment, and of course POW stands for Purveyors of Wonders, POW Entertainment has made a deal with the uh, National Hockey League and I am creating 30 new superheroes for them, one for each team, there are 30 teams in the league, and these heroes collectively are known as the NHL Guardians. <laughs> so you can all sleep more peacefully in your beds at night knowing the Guardians will be out there. Thor, as you mentioned, is coming out. Chris Hemsworth right. is playing right. Thor. He was also Captain Kirk in J.J. Abrams' uh, Star Trek movie. I also opted. I, I thought maybe I could play Thor also, so he could be a couple years older. It's movies. You can do anything. But... With the Marvel and, and Disney merger, uh, what's, what kind of changes do you see in the Marvel Universe? You notice his great talent, how he encapsulates the questions for <laughs> The Marvel Disney merger actually is a good thing for both of them. It gives Disney all of those great Marvel heroes to use and it gives Marvel Disney's great marketing and distribution powers. It won't affect Marvel if any of you were worried that suddenly Spider Man will have little mouse ears on <laughs> The people at Disney are smart enough to let Marvel do what Marvel does and not interfere. <laughs> Next question, yes sir. I just noticed, that's me. <laughs> if I turn this way, I can't see myself. And I can, so if I want to see myself, I can only see myself. Why don't they have to scream back there? So <laughs> what a silly arrangement. <laughs> I mean, you, can, you don't need it. You can see me, but I can't see me. So I want that screen moved back there. Thank you very much. <laughs> I have told this story so often that it might even be true. <laughs> I, was, I was home trying to think of a new superhero. Now, when you try to dream up a new superhero, the first thing you have to think of is what's his superpower? And it seemed to me everything had been done. We already had a guy who could burst into flame and fly. We had a guy who was body stretched, a girl who was invisible, a guy who turned into a giant green skin monster and so forth. So I'm sitting around and I see a fly crawling on the wall. And I said, hey, wouldn't it be something if a superhero could crawl on a wall, stick to walls like an insect? 
And I said, I'm going to try that. Well, then the next thing you need is a title, a name. So I said, let's see, what do I call him? Insect man. <laughs> that, that didn't sound right. Fly man. Mosquito man. And then I got to Spider Man. I mean, boy, that had the feel and the sound. So I might as well continue this story because there's another part to it. I brought the idea for Spider Man to my publisher. His name was Mark. And I wanted Spider Man to be a teenage kid. And I wanted him to have a lot of problems. And I thought that'll make him different than the average hero. So I told Martin about it. Martin said, Stan, that is the dumbest idea I have ever heard. He said, first of all, people hate spiders. So you can't call a hero Spider-Man. Secondly, a teenager can only be a sidekick. He can't be the hero. And finally, you say you want him to have problems? Stan, he's a superhero. Don't you know what a superhero is? They don't have problems. They have superpower. So needless to say, he didn't let me do the story. However, we had a magazine later on that we were about to kill called Amazing Fantasy. Now, when you're going to kill a magazine, nobody cares what you put in the latest issue because the magazine is dying. So just to get it out of my system, I put Spider-Man in that last issue. <laughs> a month later, after the sales figures came in, and Spider-Man was featured on the cover, after the figures came in, Martin came into my office and he said, hey Stan, you remember that Spider-Man character of yours that we both liked so much? <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn it into a series. And now you know the inside story. The rest is history. Anyway, yeah, I did this cameo. It was funny. You know, Lou Ferrigno, don't like this. And I'm not quite. <laughs> so there's one scene where we're walking out of a building, and uh, the director just said, make believe you're talking. So I talked to him, but the camera, the sound caught some of it. And I'm saying, don't worry, Lou, I'll protect you. You're in <laughs> Most of the fans got a big kick out of that. I don't know if Lou did. <laughs> By the way, does it give you a great feeling of power? I mean, you stand here, there might be a few hands raised, and you determine who you will call. Man, I mean, that's like being a superhero. With great power comes great, great responsibility. There is greatness in this man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the great Stan Lee. We can't thank you so much for coming out here to the Hollywood Expo.